Hello, my name is David Trimberger, and this is going to be my instructor uh, checkoff attempt for I.O. administration. So the first thing that I'm going to do is gather up all my materials. Uh, starting off, I'm going to want to make sure that I have a properly working EZ drill. Um, also, to start off, since this is more of my instructor checkoff, I want to just re-explain. Um, due to uh, being very busy this summer, I have not had a ability to be able to um, go up and utilize the, the resources that we have at the lab at OSU OKC. Um, so I have tried to recreate everything to the best of my ability. Um, so yet again, starting off, making sure that I have a properly working EZ drill. Um, I want to make sure that I have a syringe, my IO needle with a proper style lab, proper size and fitting. Um, I want to make sure that I have a bulky dressing that's uh, pre-taped down and ready to go. And then I also want to make sure that I have my IO solution and IO tubing. I'm going to next put on proper PPE and then get started. Okay, so I'm going to grab my IO solution, make sure that it's the correct kind, I'm going to check the expiration date, make sure that it has both of its uh, tail ports. And next, I am going to grab my, IV, or my IO tubing, make sure that it's for the proper drip rating. It also has both of its tail port covers. Then I'm going to take my flow rate, and try and get it as close to my drip chamber as I can. Clamp off my tubing. Set that aside. I'm going to remove my tailboard covers. Spike my bag. Turn it upright. Fill my drip chamber to about halfway. Going to make sure that I get rid of all of my air bubbles. Okay, I don't see any more. Going to hang my IV bag. Sorry, IO bag. Set that aside. Okay. Then this is what I've been using to practice my IO solution. So this is going to be my leg. Um, I'm going to come over and I'm going to landmark where I'm going to be administering my IO needle. So I'm going to go to my patella. I'm going to go two finger breaths down, one finger breath over. So it's going to be about right there. I'm then going to open up my antiseptic solution. I'm going to start in the center. Go in a circular motion, moving outward. After I have done that, and then going, if my patient is conscious, I'm going to give them a 2% lidocaine solution to help numb the area to, since this is a, can, or can be a very painful procedure. Um, then after I've done that, I'm going to go at a 90 degree perpendicular, or a, sorry, going to be going at a perpendicular 90 degree angle. Going to make sure, recheck my landmarks. And then insert my needle. And I'm going to go until I start to feel less resistance or uh, until I can hear or feel a pop. Once I feel that pop, I am going to remove my stylet, put my stylet in the proper receptacle. I'm going to take my syringe going to aspirate a little bit. If I can uh, get a blood return, then that means that I'm in the intermedullary cavity, also, uh, aka meaning that I'm in the bone. I can go ahead and I can pull back more and get a syringe filled with blood, put a cap on it, have that prepped and ready for the hospital um, in case they want to use that blood sampling for any form of lab testing. After I have my IO, solution, or my IO needle st uh, placed, I'm going to go ahead and stabilize a bulky dressing and stabilize my needle. And I'm going to take my IV bag, going to attach it to my IO needle, going to open up 
my IO solution, make sure that it's at a proper drip rate. And then I'm going to assess my patient for any changes in condition as well as um, assess my patient for any un undesired side effects. Thank you.